All right. Hey, guys. What's going on? Hope you guys are all having a, uh, a good Saturday. Hope you had a, a good uh, good past week. Like I said, we were supposed to do a live stream Friday. I like to do Friday live streams, but, man, yesterday was just a long day, and I was super tired. So, uh, yeah, I just had a postpone it. But that's okay. We are back today into Saturday night, and we are going to get in some hunting. Don't worry, guys. I am not going to hunt this time of day. I just wanted to leave you guys with... Uh, some pretty cool scenery. Hey, Herman. What's going on, buddy? And where the hell am I here? Ah, that's right. Okay. So let's just hop in this cabin here. Reset time to morning. And let's see what we can find. Ah, uh, let's see here if I can even find the bed. Okay, the bed isn't upstairs in this cabin. <laughs> there it is. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's sleep till about 9 a.m. There we go. So, we are hunting in a new spot today. We're hunting in the grasslands of Transylvania. So, this is an area that you have to get permission to hunt. Uh, I bought the pass because I had the money for it, and I don't really have anything else to buy. Um, I pretty much have all the weapons I want. I have all the sights. I have all the callers. So, uh, yeah. And one of the things you have to do to unlock this area, you have to harvest two roe deer. You have to harvest a calm roe deer and a spooked. And uh, to be honest with you guys, I have no idea how the hell I was going to harvest a spooked roe deer, so I'm not going to bother with that. But what I think we're going to do... We're going to head down into this area here. This is where I want to hunt. And I'm also really close to leveling up the collars to the next level. So hopefully we can do that tonight as well. This lake, man. This is a nice lake, but I haven't seen anything around it yet. I have been hunting this area a little bit. I have a couple videos coming out in the beginning of the week. That are uh, pretty interesting. Another thing I want to do. I have a herd of red deer. Like right. Let's see if I can see it. I think I have like a herd of red deer right up in here. And I have a herd of red deer up in this lake. I want to take a look at those. And uh, see if those guys have grown up at all. Let's see here. And we're probably going to hunt some rabbit today as well. I want to show you guys the rabbits. I have a video coming out Monday. But uh, we could take a look at them today, too. Give you guys a little sneak peek. Honestly, I don't think I've seen any content creators really showing off the rabbits. Now, I know they're not the most exciting species, but they are one of the ones on the map. So if they're there, I will hunt them. You know, honestly, I have yet to see a badger on this map as well. I have not seen one badger. I don't think I've seen a fox on this map either. I think there's fox on this map as well. I've seen the wolves. <laughs> I think I've seen everything else except uh, except those. And also, guys, if you're seeing brown bear tracks and need zones on the map, it's because... The brown bear were in the game. They were supposed to be in the game at launch, but uh, I guess the coding, something in the coding was screwed up, so they took them out last minute. Um, so I'm sure that they just, they left the tracks in, but uh, the bears are not in the game. Hopefully they'll add them pretty soon, though. I know they had the next patch in uh, in testing on PC, as we speak, so hopefully if that's all going well. If that's all going well, maybe we'll get a patch as early as uh, the middle or the end of the week, possibly. All right, let's take a look at these ducks, because I do have the 22 on me, and you can shoot these ducks from the 22, with the 22, I mean. $55,500, good lord, I don't have that much. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I 
I know the other missions, you can get quite a bit of money off the missions. Oh, let's see, what was that? It's young. Oh, there's right there. Oh man, that tree was moving. I thought that was an antler over there. God damn it. Okay, I know there's more over here. I heard them. Where are they? Oh, this vegetation is horrible. Okay. They're back in that little area. You know, while I'm here, let's take a look. See if there are any antler species around this lake. And don't mind that jittering, guys. That's my uh, that's my controller. That's that's not the game, unfortunately. I have to get a new controller. The stick drift on this one is just horrible. I was really hoping it was something that I could have avoided, but unfortunately, <laughs> nope. It's uh, it's very much there. But yeah, I've spent a ton of time. On the Nez Perce Valley, so I really wanted to come over and check Transylvania out. This is a really fun map. It poses a lot of different different problems with hunting, let me just say that. Tuesday's video is a uh, mouflon hunt that was very, very frustrating for me. And it didn't have anything to do with the game. It was just, like... Everything went wrong. Everything was just horrible for the hunt. Six four stars at the moment? Yeah, I'm not even really bothering with that just yet. It's just, uh... Literally, it'll take up so much time, which is fine. Although I am starting to just watch herds on the Nez Perce map. Ah, all right. Well, I didn't really want ducks anyway. That's not what we really wanted. Okay, so let's see here. Where... Hey, drunk and confused. What's going on, man? Finally got a five-star wolf. Nice, man. Nice. I gotta say, I haven't had a lot of luck finding, like, mature wolves. I've seen so many, so many young and uh, adults. Not many mature at all. Okay, you know what? It is that time, so let's... Before we do this, let's go up here. I do really want to check on these red deer. I want to see what these red deer are doing up here. I haven't really had an issue with them spooking easily. It's just I don't, I don't see a lot of mature ones on my map. Like I, uh, I find quite a few packs of them. I just don't find a lot of mature ones. Hey, Corey, what's going on, man? We are doing pretty well. Feel good it's Saturday night. I'm playing one of my favorite games. Can't ask for much more than that, can we? So just up over here, there's a bridge, and I see red deer just hanging out right on the bridge, man. So I want to check them out first because I did put a shot into one of them, and I don't believe it died. So we need to check on him, and then we need to go up to this lake because there's a herd. I don't see him here today. Two four-star wolves. They'll probably die on me. Oh, I don't know, man. Maybe not. Yeah, of course, they're not. They're not here today. But yeah, they were right on that bridge. That's all right. We'll, uh, we'll head up and we'll go up to this lake. We'll check that out first. 
So the only thing about switching maps is, uh, uh oh. Can I not cross here? Oh, man. Yeah, I noticed that some of the streams on this map are a little deeper than the Nez Perce Valley map. But yeah, like, you just have to put so much time into these maps finding everywhere, unlocking stuff. Where are all the species? Well, what are you looking for, man? Again, there's map, uh, there's maps, there's animals all over the map. You just have to uh, figure them out, just like the Nez Perce Valley map. Like I would say, so far, for red deer and fallow deer, like this area, all in here is really good. The Aurora Woods, the uh, Lowland Forest, and the uh, the Lele Field area. That's pretty good for them, I've found so far. Uh, Shammy. Shammy up in here, pretty good. Uh, Mouflon, they're up there, but I haven't found anything really big. Uh, I just unlocked this area. Wait a minute. This area here I just unlocked. I haven't found really anything decent up here yet, but over here is good. Uh, Mouflon, up in this area, up in these mountains, seem to be really good for the Mouflon. Uh, there's red deer up here. Fellow deer. There are fellow deer down in here where we're going to be hunting later on today. And uh, hogs, the wild boar, they seem to be all up in here. But as you can see, man, there's a ton on this map that I haven't unlocked yet. So I'm, I'm still learning myself. But there is a lake up to the north here that I have heard of red deer. We're going to check them out. So I think it takes like, I don't know, several... In time, uh, in the, not in game days, I don't know, it's hard to say. Because some people have said that you have to play, like, so many hours in the game, and then when you change time, that's when the animals age. But then other people have said, they heard that the, the developers said, no, the animals age in real time. So, I don't know, man, I don't know. As of yet, it's all, uh, it's all a lot of questions. Yeah, it takes a lot of time to get the map unlocked, and then you have to hunt the map. What was that? Nope. Okay, so you know what? That's the herd. That's the herd that's coming down here to this bridge, actually. Um. Ah. Ah. Hey, Fenor, that's awesome, man. Thank you. I appreciate you, buddy. Welcome to the stream. And yeah, guys, if you could just leave me a little like, that's much appreciated. What times do they drink? Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a huge tip. If you go into your encyclopedia and go into your animals, it tells you all the times that the animals drink. Pretty much all of your antler species, they drink between 9 and 1 p.m. And that's when they all drink. Your predators, they drink between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. And then they drink between 7 p.m. and I'm guessing midnight. But yeah, like literally, everything you want to know is right in the encyclopedia. It tells you everything uh the american black bear they drink from 7 a.m to 10 so yeah predators they pretty much all drink around the same time but again it doesn't mean they're going to be at every zone at 9 a.m and it doesn't mean they're always going to be every herd is going to drink at that time like i have come across herds that have still been eating at like 10 a.m so it's not something that's 100 percent it's just, that's your best chance to, uh, to catch them drinking or eating or whatever the time it is in the, uh, the zones. That's what I've kind of come to realize anyway. Mm. 
Now, I seen something interesting that someone said. Uh, they said that each herd has like six drink zones. And they have drink zones that are used very often, uh, rarely, hardly ever used, and everything in between. And they said it's good to find each and every one of the drink zones for the individual herds. And then you can kind of just go around and uh, hit those and see where they are at certain times. Very interesting. Because there are sometimes you'll have a need zone that it'll say used very often and they're not there at that specific time. So it's no uh, it's no guarantee, and that's that's one of the things I really enjoy about the game. Let's see here. Okay, we're getting close to this lake. Why do we have a question mark at this lake? I thought I picked that up already. So I'm not sure if this herd is actually the herd that was back there or not, but we're going to find out because if they're here, then it's a different herd. And if they weren't, then it was that herd and they moved down to this lake. Let's see here. Let's let's pop up a little bit here. I think we can. Just got to get up somewhere high enough. So we can overlook this lake here. Come on. We're, oh, okay. There it is right there. So. All right. I'm thinking it was the same herd then. And that's unfortunate because we have spooked them out of the area. And I don't think they'll be headed this way, especially with us making all the noise that we made. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's a four-star mature. Okay. So he was here the last time. No, it, it should be six zones because, see, there's a drink zone there. There's two drink zones right here for this herd. Then we have one down here. But like I said, I don't feel that that's the same herd. Cause see right there when I highlight that one, there's two different drink zones for this icon. Like I say, it's gonna take testing, man. It's gonna take testing. Yeah, this is a different herd. I don't this definitely isn't the herd. Two star mature. One star mature. One star. This one here, man, he's a nice one. He looks kind of old to me, but uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's take a look at him at the end of the stream. Let's come back here after we've played a couple hours. God, there's even more coming in. Would it? He's another two-star mature. Wow. So there's not not a ton of great genetics in this herd, except for that guy. So basically this herd, <laughs> for the stags anyway, they need uh, they need to repopulate. They need to repopulate. There's not that many. All these stags here are mature and they're, they're not very good at all. Okay. Awesome. All right. So let's get up out of here. We'll check those again towards the end of the stream though. Okay, let's let's go down here. And I want to work my way up north to that question mark. I want to see what's up there. Oh. All right. So let's uh Oh, 
Well, yeah, because they should have um, an often, a rarely. Um, I found one that said hardly ever. So there should be all kinds of different different zones for them. Like I said, man, a lot with this game is still very much a learning experience. You know, and then there's the fact that you pretty much have to just run around with this damn hunter sense on all the time to pick up zones. Which I don't know, it doesn't it doesn't bother me too much, I guess. But it does seem like you could do a lot of reconnaissance in this game, just kind of walking around with your hunter sense on, trying to pick up zones. I just get distracted with animals. That uh, that need to hunt just takes over, man. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a new area. This is the grasslands. I. I've seen red deer here, I've seen wild boar, I've seen some fallow deer. I haven't seen any roe deer, so I don't know if there's roe deer. I haven't seen a lot of roe deer on this map in general, actually. As a matter of fact, I don't even think I have an encyclopedia for the roe deer. Yeah, tier 3. Yeah, I definitely don't. So I'm going to have to find them at some point, I guess. I don't know where they are. I know that there's some over on the other side of the map. Over in here. So, uh, I don't know. I'll have to, have to check on those. I don't have a gun for them equipped with me right now anyway. I had the 22 and I had the 308. Like I said, I do want to show you guys the rabbits. And, uh... If any of you guys are called the wild players, uh, the rabbits are very similar to when we first got rabbits called the wild. They're uh, they're kind of bugged. They do some weird things. What is that? That looks like maybe something where we can take a picture. Now, this again, is there any larger bodies of water up here? Okay. Way up in there. Okay. These little streams, they're really difficult to hunt if there's drink zones on these little streams because it's just so hard to see. You almost have to get up somewhere high. But I don't know, man. Maybe we won't maybe we won't even stay on this map for the whole stream just for the simple reason that uh i don't have it all unlocked yet and uh one of these streams man we have to just focus on on like a decent hunt so maybe we'll head over to the nespers valley and uh, we'll check on some herds that we have over there and uh just do some hunting because i finally have that map unlocked Good enough where I don't really need to explore anymore. I, I can do some hunting. I mean, we do have some areas that we still have to unlock, but nothing too major. But I do enjoy this map. This this map is a great map. Um, I will say the PS5, it's it's a lot more demanding on the PS5 than the Nez Perce Valley map. Like, I see a lot more uh, popping and stuff like that. Yeah, but that's good, man, because you, you need the zones, you know. The more zones you have on your map, the uh, the better it is. And the better it'll be for, for the herd management because you'll know where to go to see the animals the most. Myself, I like the whole wandering around and not knowing what you're going to see aspect of it. Although... I do have a video coming out Tuesday. I was watching this mouflon. He was a he was a good sized one. Um, I watched him for several days, and he didn't grow any bigger. So, 
I, I decided to uh, to hunt him, but uh, I will. I'll let you guys see that for yourself on Tuesday. Okay, this is what that question mark is too. I don't think this is a camp. I feel like this could be. It would be nice if this was. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> I was hoping this was one of the spots to take a picture. Royal Court Ruins, okay. So I'm not gonna lie, man, this just... This just does not seem like a great area to hunt to me. Probably feed zones it would be good. But drink zones, I'm thinking not that great. Okay, so let's let's go over here. Let's work our way down this river because this is something I've never really done. I've never just worked my way all the way down this main river. Let's uh let's get rid of this. There we go. Okay, make sure there's nothing behind you because there are regular that come in right across from this cabin. It is so cool. Like, if that was real life, that would be just awesome, just sitting on your, your front porch like that and watching red deer come down to eat and drink. That would be pretty sweet. Ah, see? Damn it, Mouflon. See, <laughs> that has to be a rarely used one because I can't tell you guys how many times I've been here and never see Mouflon. And then once in just a great while, I'll spook him out of there and be like, damn it, I should I should have checked. But, oh well. That's what happens, unfortunately. There could have been a, a five-star sitting in that herd, but oh well. Yeah, that's pretty much how I was in uh, Call of the Wild and this game. Very easily to get distracted. But that's alright, though. This is a very strong wind today. 46.9 foot per second. That is a strong wind, man. Holy. So we got this big, beautiful lake here. We're right in drink time. I do know that there's a herd of red deer down on this side, somewhere on this lake. Probably would have been better off sticking to the other side. Oh, okay. So that's okay. That's all right. We'll just sit still here. Oh, yeah. I see them. We'll just sit still. Let them calm down a bit. Let's just kind of go prone. So pretty much when they're alerted, if you just stop moving, they normally calm back down. I do feel like noise is the biggest factor in this game. Again, I don't know if it's something that that's intended or what. But uh, noise is the biggest factor in the game, and constant noise especially. Like, if you stop and go, you can sneak up pretty close. Constant movement, that's what, uh, that's what does it. Okay. Now, the only other thing is that 
going prone in this game is just horrible. That's the one thing that they need to fix. I feel like the most. <laughs> I see you. Where? Where's your boyfriends? I don't want you. I want your boyfriends. Okay, they're not. They're not down to the lake. Don't tell me there's just female. I won't. I will not accept that. Hey, thanks a lot, Corey, man. I I really appreciate you, bud. Upcoming YouTuber, loving Way of the Hunter. Thanks a lot, man. Way of the Hunter is an awesome game. And honestly, if this is the game that, that grows my channel, then uh, I am super happy about that. She is a mature one right there. Is that, there's, there's a male right there. He is not that decent of one though. See, this is the part of these hunting games that I absolutely love. It's just seeing the animals and trying to figure out how you're going to get close to them. Absolute favorite part of these games, man. Ooh, he's a one-star mature, so he is definitely on the chopping block. Is he the only one, though? I hate to, uh, I hate to go blast. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are those antlers? I ah, I kind of felt like those were antlers, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, Herman, uh, I, I did see something, and not just that, they're going to change the intervals of when you hear them as well, which, um, that's important, that, that needed to be done. Yeah, I, I hear you, man, I love the chase as well. Like I said, this part of the game right here, this is what I absolutely love. And, like I said, you know, this is where... Call of the Wild is a lot different. You don't have to really take as much time. And call. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. There it is. Where? Oh, are they just gonna lay down on me? A three-star mature. Where did he come from? See, there was another. There was another stag in there. That's gotta be the one star. Okay, come on. So we know that we don't want to take him through the trees. They're working on that as well. The other small branches, they're going to do something about the hitboxes, which is good because right now, like, if I was to take that shot, there's no guarantee that I would get it. No, wait a minute. Is he the one-star mature? He looks even smaller, actually. Dude, come on. Get... <laughs> The way he's looking at me, like, tell me he doesn't know I'm there. He's looking right at me. Can I please spot you? Whoa, I don't want to stand up. Crap, hit the wrong button. Can we... Okay, he is the one-star mature. So he's like 171. All right, let's, uh, let's take him out of there. Got him. Nice. Oh, he's already got his head down. He's stumbling. He's already stumbling. He's not going to go far, I don't believe. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
So we'll go over there and we'll pick him up. We'll have to keep an eye on that three-star mature. He might turn into a four-star. He, uh, he looks pretty good. He also looks a little on the old side with the red deer when they start getting that, that gray in the neck, man. I mean, with the small branches, they could take the hitbox right out of there. there. There's absolutely no reason, like, for branches like this here, there's no reason for those to be, have a hitbox, in my opinion. There really isn't. Because a bullet should be able to go through that. That should not stop your bullet that much. Tree hitboxes, though, uh, you know what? They've been an issue even in Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild had a major issue with those. Okay. There's the blood. Now, the blood trail, it goes in a pattern when you see it. Wait a minute. Let me pick up this. But the problem is the blood and everything else that you see, it all follows the same pattern. So I don't think the tracking is the problem. It's the tracking when you have like a lot of the uh, the need zone area lit up in the tracks. That's where it gets a little confusing. But when it's just the blood, you can see the blood. You can just train your eye for that rhythm. Right there. Yeah, right there, and it goes right up this little, this little hill kind of thing here. Like I said, I feel like he should be down pretty soon. Yep, here we go. There's the blood. Ah, there he is. See, I told you guys. I knew we didn't go too far. That was a good hit. I do think they did a good job with these models, man. Just look at the fur texture and everything. It just looks so good. All right. So they uh, they came out with a new uh, dev diary. And it comes to find out when you see, like it says, left lung right there, and you see the other droplets, that means that it, that's where you hit to made him bleed out and he ran. If you see a little skull there... That means that pretty much took him down instantly. So that's interesting to know. I mean, it's a game though. So I don't feel that branches should be that big of a deal <laughs> in a game. You know, like th there has to be a balance between realism and... And gaming, right? And I feel that that's true no matter what simulation it is. It, you know, whether it be like far, a farming simulator, a hunting, fishing simulator, there has to be some kind of balance between realism and just uh, being a fun game. You have to be really careful because the people out there that don't hunt that they're not, like, experts on ballistics and stuff like that. You don't really want the game to be too difficult for those people. And like I said, I, uh, I don't hunt in real life. So when it comes to, like, ballistics and travel and, and drop and stuff like that, I feel like there's got to be a, uh, a balance. Like I said, some of those really little branches, you know, man... When they completely stop your bullet, that is just uh, just heart wrenching. Especially if you have a nice five star lined up, and a little tiny branch just stops your bullet dead.
All right, so we don't have nothing more here to look at. Um, boy, I don't know if I want to just continue down this river. Yeah, you know what? Why not? We, we'll just continue down here. It's going to be... It's going to be interesting to say the least. Is this the river that goes right through down to... Okay, it is. All right, yeah, I've never done this run yet, so this will be an interesting one. Watch, I don't have a gun for the road deer, and I'm going to just see a ton of road deer. <laughs> and... I need to know... Okay, I need to call in two more... To level that up to the second level. Oh, wait a minute. Where? That reminds me. I remember I did say about the rabbits. So. That's a feed zone. That's a feed zone. When do these little guys... They're feeding now. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's do that. Let me see if I can't show you guys some of these rabbits first. There's one there. I know there's one not far from a tent. Yeah, yeah, right here. That's a rust zone. All right. Like I say, the rabbits, man, they're, uh, they're pretty fun to hunt with the 22. Like I said, they wouldn't be something that I would normally, uh, hunt on purpose. But, if you want to level up your collars, and that's what the, uh, the video I have coming out Monday is about. If you want to level up the collars, these rabbits are such a good way to level them up. So I found them out here by these, by these little hut things. And if anybody knows what these are, please feel free to let me know because I have no idea what this is. Okay, I uh, I had rabbits all out here, but I'm not gonna lie, guys, I wasn't too discriminate <laughs> about uh, taking the rabbits. I was pretty much uh, yeah taking everyone I could see. <laughs> you know, rabbits and ducks, they're kind of like the same to me. It's not something that I'm too concerned with. But now that I want to show you guys the rabbits, I won't be able to see any. I mean, honestly, I, I don't. I don't like the uh, the adventurer right now. Is like the perfect difficulty. I really don't know why anybody would want it uh, any more difficult than that, but. Like I say, if uh, if they add spotting scopes, I think that's going to be a huge help. Because then, uh, if you're on the ranger difficulty, you're just going to have to rely on the fact that you have to look at what the animals look like. Although, no, they're not hay. They're like, I don't know what the hell they are. They're not hay. I don't know if they're like, uh, no, they're, they're, they're like a little hut or something. I don't know what they are. I would see these are for something. <laughs> and there's not one of these little bastards around now. Where's where's the feed zone? Okay, the feed zone is is down here more. Jesus, you know, maybe I took them all. <laughs> 
Ant Eater Mines? <laughs> Maybe, man. I don't know. I don't know, but I know the rabbits, they seem to love this area. Like I said, maybe I eradicated all the rabbits in the area. I did kind of go wild on them. They're, uh, they're pretty stupid. Yeah, there's no doors, but that's that's definitely not hay. There, there's no farm. I mean, this isn't farmland for one. It's it's something. I don't know what it is. Fad, one of our friends from the UK in the chat. I'm sure they would let me know. T Rex droppings, maybe, man. I don't know. Because they got those, like, weird sticks propping them up, and they got the weird sticks coming off the top of them. So I have no idea what they are. Yeah, so I mean they have sticks in them. Farmers, no matter what country they're from, they bale their hay. So, I don't know what the hell these are. They look like some kind of weird hut. I agree, they don't have a door, but, uh, I don't know what they are. These games, they need to add in for, uh, the Americans that don't have a clue what some of these things are, man, because... <laughs> I've never been to Transylvania. I don't know what they are. Maybe they're maybe they're vampire traps. I have no idea. Oh come on! Where are the rabbits? I know exactly. They're not. They're not hay bales. I don't know what the hell they are. And I mean, these rabbits, they're not really spooky either. They, uh, they don't seem to be the most intelligent animal on the map. <laughs> hmm. I don't think it matters that we get right on the feed zone. They should just be in this area. Yeah, well, like I said, I have uh, I've already hunted this area, and I killed quite a few rabbits. Now, what do we have here? Yeah, okay, we still have the zone. There we go. There we go. We have little floating bunnies. <laughs> Wait, what was he? One star. He's just a young. <laughs> so yeah. Let's uh let's call him in. The caller, dude. Oh my god. You're a farmer, huh? How come you didn't say that before, dude? Okay, let's see here. I hear him coming. Oh my god, I can't see. Get off the screen. Okay. Where? Come on, I hear you. Are you going to come out? Oh, jeez. What? What 
What just happened? Why did that kill him? <laughs> oh, man. Like I said, the uh, the rabbits... Ah, yeah, look at them all now. Okay. That's okay. We're good. We're good. God, that thing sounds horrible. Uh, now, the other day when I did this, they came right in. It didn't matter. Uh, see? Well, I can't... Son of a bitch. That... Hi. Hi. <laughs> I can't... Oh, this is silly. Okay. <laughs> we got that one. Oh, boy. So, yeah. It seems like rabbits are uh, kind of tricky in these games. Young one star. Okay. Sell him for 12 bucks. Ah, uh, did... Did that count? It did. It did count. Nice. So we only have to call in one more animal. We might be able to call in one more rabbit. If we could find some pigs, we could call them in real easy. Where, uh, I have pigs around here. Where are the piggies? Huh. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe I don't have... All right, let's head out this way. Let's head out that way, because... There's some wild boar around here. And they come in really easy. If you guys watched my video on Thursday, I believe, then you'd uh, you definitely... Oh, wait a minute. Small amount clear. This is that other rabbit. I hear him. I can hear him walking around me. Wow. Okay. That's got to be a bug. Because <laughs> there's no way that freaking rabbit... Wait a minute. What? What the hell is going on? This isn't... Huh. What the hell happened there? I seen a rabbit run off, and then I seen this one was dead. So I I have no idea. That was strange. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I decided to just try it, the twenty-two, because I haven't tried it so. All right, but anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. Let's see if we can't get some wild boar. Let's check the time. 12 oh wait. All right.
want to say, just like uh, Call of the Wild, the, the rabbits are horrible cash. So there's really no incentive to hunt them unless you're just looking to, to get like a five star of every species. But other than that, the, the rabbits are just, there's just no reason to really hunt them. It's a shame. I wish that they would uh, do something different with these hunting. And it's not just this hunting game. Call of the Wild is pretty much the same way. It's like rabbits, the fox. There's really just not a huge reason to hunt them unless you want a diamond of every species. And in this game, it's, it's the kind of the same thing. Of course, there are some multi mounts that are that are pretty cool. Let's see what we got here. Bunny tracks? No. Fallow deer. Yes, please. <laughs> Wouldn't mind coming across a, a herd of fallow deer. Fellow deer eating rarely. Okay. So that's not the best. So it does seem like this area is a very good area to hunt for feed zones. Which is uh which is a good thing. I like that. I like hunting animals in, in different zones. I like the fact that you're not stuck to one zone all the time. Thing is, this isn't farmland. This isn't farm country at all. These are just, these are not farm fields, so I have no idea. So we have a long truck ahead of us. Let's, uh, maybe let's head to this other lake and then we'll work our way down to the next one. Because these two lakes are linked with a stream, so that's good. So I'm curious when they're going to decide to release the first uh, DLC for this. Not a map DLC. The maps will be paid for. Uh, all the other stuff, like weapons and any other stuff they add to the game, those are going to be free DLCs. It'd be interesting to see what time frame they're in for that. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I mean. Five star, but once you get them... Really pointless. Like I said, yeah, the multi mounts are nice though. Especially like uh, the fox with the rabbits and stuff like that. Those were those were pretty cool. I like that. I think they did a pretty good job with the multi mounts. I would say, the whole DLC thing though, to keep interest in the game, they should try to release the first DLC before the next, uh, before the next Call of the Wild DLC, I would say. I actually love that there's small animals in the game though, because it just adds to the immersion for me. Like, I don't even care. Like, I've seen Fox and Badger run out in front of me on the Nez Perce map, and uh, I just like them there. I just like having them on the map. It doesn't bother me having things on the map that you would see in real life, even if I'm not interested in hunting them. I know there's a lot of people that do like the small game. January? I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I said, Call of the Wild, they usually release a new map in December, so I think it would be smart on their part to maybe release something before then. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. 
I had a five star pheasant on my map, but I'm sure it's it's dead by now. I didn't. I never went back for it. I uh, I actually forgot it was there. So. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I just need to see where the hell I am here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we? Okay. Yeah, like I said, for the most part, I've done it for missions and... I don't even check to see if they're five star to be honest with you. Rabbit hunting is fun. I like that because it, you know, it's the way to use the twenty two. If they were worth a little bit more money, I think it might be a little better. But I mean, it's the same thing as fishing games. Like, they'll put, like, perch or crappy and stuff in the game, which in real life I absolutely love fishing for. But in fishing games, they're never worth any decent amount of money. So it's like, there's no good reason why they put them in the game. Just, you know, other than just have them. We've been walking all this way. I have not heard one animal yet. Like I said, they're not drinking right now, but usually there's fat. Oh. Ah, that's the goddamn goose. I don't want no goose. <laughs> I will say, Call of the Wild, the, the waterfowl hunting is a lot better than it is in this game. It, it's, it's really fun. I do enjoy... Hunting ducks and geese and call the wild, and even the uh, the upland birds, it's it's a lot more fun. But then again, that's not that's not the main draw to to this game, you know. I mean, they've done such a good job with the big game that uh, it doesn't really bother me. It does kind of feel like the, the smaller game oh was a bit of an afterthought, though. See, this is where it gets not fun for me. I don't like hunting and this stuff. So let's uh let's move out of here and see if we can catch anything. Good lord. I'm really surprised I haven't heard any failed or anything yet. Oh speaking of that. Ha! Wait a minute. Okay. Ah, oh, man. I don't think so. I think that's a glitch. I think... Yeah, they spooked. No, that says calm. Calm. But one is spooked. That doesn't... That doesn't seem... Right. That doesn't seem right to me. God damn it. See that? That's what always happens in this game. Because you just don't know where they're going to be. Yeah. It, it just didn't refresh. That's what they're talking about. That they need to, to refresh that quicker. Because you see that little bubble sticking around way too long, man. Way too long. When they have already bolted... Well, that's okay. Because we know there's fallow deer around here. So we'll just take our time. We'll crouch walk. And maybe we can catch up with them. Let's just take a look here. Hopefully there's a nice big field. Lost conscious again. I haven't... Well, I'll tell you what. I haven't lost conscious too much because I haven't even gotten the uh, the perk yet. What is the perk for it? Um, right here. Fall unconscious ten times. 
three percent faster life regeneration. I haven't even fallen ten times yet. I literally had to force myself to fall off something to uh to get that. See, eating almost never. So that's uh that's good to know, I guess. I have yet to come across a really big fallow deer. And the fallow deer in this game looks so good too. Okay, there's there's our tracks and unfortunately <laughs> there's some forest area up there. That ain't good. Definitely don't want to hunt them in the forest. Way past that. Yeah, I don't I don't fall too often. Speaking of falling though, maybe we will head up into the mountains here. Check around up there as well. Like I say though, I do want to go back and check on those red deer. Maybe that four star will turn into a five star. I don't know though. He looked pretty old to me. <laughs> hey, road deer. Drinking in the middle of the field. Awesome. Okay, so now we have road deer in our thing here. Tier one, tier three, tier four. Sweet. All right. So now I know they're a tier four animal. <laughs> wow, it took me long enough to, to get a zone for those. Jesus. All right, so this is a pretty good spot. There's red deer, there's wild boar, there's fallow deer, there's roe deer, there's rabbits. There are pheasant around here as well. Oh, speaking of that. Ah, 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 ah. ah, god damn it, wild duck. I don't care about you. Speaking of that, I have a dead pheasant somewhere in this area. Because this was locked and I accidentally killed one and I forgot. I didn't have permission. Okay, I need to get out of this area. This is not a great area for hunting here. I need to find some nice openness where I can see a nice long way. You know what, Duck? You're, you're pissing me off. <laughs> you need to shut up. I'm looking for bigger things. Although duck is pretty damn tasty, like in real life, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pass up a duck, and I certainly wouldn't pass up a duck dinner, <laughs> not at all. How much cash do I have? Not much, man, because I just spent a bunch. I only have twenty one hundred. Like I said, I, uh, I bought the last land pass, so. But now, there's really nothing left to buy. So it'll just be a lot of saving. Alright, let's pick up this need zone. We need to find all the need zones. Fellow deer eating often. Okay, nice. Yeah, duck is awesome, man. Duck tastes so good. Killed a bunch of badgers that you couldn't claim. 
on the uh, Nez Perce map? I honestly don't see a ton of badgers on that map. I see them, like, right around the main lodge. But I haven't really come across too many of them in other areas. So this is what I was talking about. Because I don't know this area. I don't know where the open fields are. I don't know where the wooded areas are. Let's see here. Well, going up here, this goes back up into the Highland Forest, so I'm guessing probably out this way should open up. Ah, oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm not looking for animals. I just need to know. Oh, God. This is all forest. Oh, this sucks. I don't... Ugh. And there's our fellow deer over there. I just happened to see him, or red deer possibly. Like I said, guys, I wasn't really looking for animals. I just wanted to see what the terrain looked like. <laughs> Illegally in Transylvania. Well, the good news is they're still there, right? As long as you get permission to hunt that land, you'll be able to pick all those badgers up. So you'll, uh, you'll be pretty good. It's kind of funny how, like, the European badgers are kind of like these, uh, I don't know, kind of cute creatures. And the badgers we have here, like, they're crackhead cousins. <laughs> road deer. Oh, maybe there's a road deer over there. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we could head over that way. I really don't like hunting thick forests like this. This is not my style of hunting. I like to be able to see things from a, uh, a distance. <laughs> okay, those are fellow deer over there. Oh, they're not, they're not that far either. Okay. Are there any decent ones? Oddly enough, I don't have the deer call on me. <laughs> I have the red deer. Um, I have the hog collar and the predator collar. But I don't have the deer collar. Which is okay. I don't want to call in a female anyway. Uh, one star adult male. What is... What's that one? He looks kind of small. Adult female... Okay. Are there only two bucks in that? That herd? Okay. I'm thinking that... That herd... Ooh. Man, I heard that tree snap. And I thought I just spooked them. Good lord. Give me a heart attack game. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I actually like some of the missions. But yeah, some of the ones that were a little too difficult, I just bought the land pass myself. Your female. I absolutely love how they how they do this because you know these deer they're not dumb. They like to hide behind the trees. And you can't get a good sight on them. That's the same one. It is now. Yeah, he's just a one-star adult. I, 
I don't really want to take him because... One star adult always has potential because he could be right at the beginning of his adulthood. Yeah. All right. We're going to leave him. We're not going to... I'm not going to mess with him. Okay, let's, uh... Let's see here. Where do I want to go? Let me do that there. What time is it? It's 1.34. Let's go up into the Highland Forest. Let's see what's up here. All right, so there's red deer up in the Highland Forest. There's mouflon. Um, there's wolves. What else? I think that's about it. It's a really interesting place to hunt, though. It's uh, it's difficult to say the least. The animals, man, they like. They feed on the side of the mountain, and when you're up here, it's really hard to spot them. What? Are you serious? Shut up. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. All right, guys. I, I kind of need to see what these are. Because, uh, okay, they're already gone. Oh, never mind. Damn. Because, like I said, I have a video coming out Tuesday. It was a crazy mouflon hunt, man. Just absolutely crazy. Everything that could go wrong pretty much went wrong. <laughs> But that's all right. That's uh, that's what happens. Not every hunt goes perfect. And I'm definitely not a content creator that likes to just show all the perfect hunts. I'm not trying to uh, pretend to be something I'm not. I'm just a gamer like the rest of you guys. But uh, yeah, it was just one of those hunts, man. They were the, the animals were just in the worst area. They wouldn't move. <laughs> oh, man, it was something. That is perfectly all right, man. I don't, you know, I mean, I I really feel like they put that in the game for that reason, especially since there's a perk that you can even extend it. I mean, for a YouTube content creator, it's absolutely fantastic for making thumbnails and such. But yeah, I'm not against anybody that, that uses it as a tool. I doubt that there's any real-life hunters that if they had access to like a drone like that, that wouldn't spook the animals that they could send up and just take a look and survey the land. Yeah, it would make their time out, you know, a lot more productive probably. Okay, those are mouflon rusting. Now, oddly on this map, you can't clip through the trees on the ground. You can on the Nez Perce Valley map, but not this map. I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know what that is. All right, so as you can see already... Just how the terrain is, man. It's just... It's so difficult. It's so difficult. But we're going to go up in here further. We have wolves up in here. We have red deer. We're going to see if we can't find them. I'm flying eating off, and there's... Try it out. Okay, that's old. All 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly, man. So many variables. The thing that's nice about a game is that you can keep hunting, right? <laughs> In real life, when the hunt's over, it's over. So here we go. Here's some brown bear tracks right here, but again, they're not in the game yet. At least when they put them in the game, I know where to get them now. So let's see here. There's a little lake over here. Let's kind of work our way over to that place. I'll almost guarantee I'm going to spook a lot of animals on my way there because these trees, I'm not hunting in these trees. You just can't. It's damn near impossible. Especially if the animals are bedded down in the forest. I mean, by the time you hear them, it's, it's just going to be too late anyway. Uh, can we take this trail? Yeah, it looks like we can. Okay. See that? Those red deer are right in that thick forest. Now they're over there. Honestly, man, whether it's Call of the Wild or this game... It's just not my style to hunt in the thick forest like that. I like little more open areas. Especially with tree hitboxes and stuff like that. So there is a clearing. <laughs> But again, it's all uphill. <clears throat> it doesn't make for the best vantage spots. Okay, I know you're alerted. I would love to see you, but you know what? Let's. Oh, gosh, yeah. They are right in the thick. Just sneaking up on them would be a bitch. Let's, uh, let's kind of shimmy over this way. Alright, they're spooked. That's alright. Maybe we'll spook them somewhere out in the open. I doubt it. <laughs> let's see here. All right. Don't know what you missed if you didn't even see them. So, let's just what did that say? <laughs> I thought that said calm. There's no way in hell she's calm. They're all running. All right. So they definitely spooked. And I'm sure 
Boy, I don't know. There's a lot of flat land interspersed with with heavily forested areas up here. It makes it really tricky. Again, nothing's impossible, but if that's the way you hunt, if that's your style, then it's just what you're used to. It's just not my style. That's why when I see a lot of people complaining about not being able to get really close to the animals, it's like, you know, we can't take the scopes off. And taking like a shot under 100 yards with the scopes on is just, I don't know, it's way too close for me. Way too close. Anything under 100 yards, especially within like that 50 yards, that's that's. That's more of a bow shot for me, more than anything. All right. Yeah, right, you need to call them out, but I don't even have the caller leveled up yet, so. Like I said, it's, it's not my style of, uh, of hunting, so it's not something I'm, I'm going to do regularly because that's not how I like to hunt. I much prefer to get them out in the open. Like I said, if I had a bow, if we had bows in the game, I would totally call them out. But taking them out under 100 yards with a scope on, I don't know. Yeah, they've already pretty much said that they're they're going to put bows into the game. It's something that it's going to probably take a while because they they need to make sure they do it right. Are you drinking off? It'd be nice. Okay, so let's see here. This is. We need to get somewhere in the open. There are open areas up here. It's just finding them. And I think this time of day, they're probably bedded down. Good lord, look at those bear tracks. <laughs> so they're going to be bedded down in the forest anyway. But if we can move them out to an open area, that's what I would like to do. But yeah, they definitely need to do bows and arrows the right way. I've seen someone say that uh, they need an incentive to use bow and arrows. They need to maybe have them pay more cash, and I'm like, yeah, you know, how about just the satisfaction of taking an animal out, luring, luring it in with the call, and be able to take a shot, you know, like under 60 yards. Is that not satisfying enough? You really need to have, like, double the money? You know, I don't... I don't really get it sometimes. Like, see, I would absolutely love to look out and see Red Deer just, just right on the side of that hill there. That would be fantastic. I think that's what's the difference between someone who plays this game that kind of wants a hunting experience and someone that plays the game just because they're uh, they're a gamer. Which is fine. I get that. Like, I've seen someone say that they beat the game so now they're done with it. Because they did all the missions in the Nez Perce Valley. They're like, there's nothing to do now. And it's like, oh, dude, are you serious? Like, there's nothing to do? 
<laughs> I was just like, wow, okay. So it's like you got a five star of every animal. You've, you know, seen everything. It's crazy. Oh yeah, me too. I absolutely loved bow hunting in Call of the Wild. When they brought the tree stands out, it was it was fantastic. Just getting in the tree stand, calling in some whitetail. A lot of fun, man. That's awesome. But again, like I said, for me personally. Shooting with a with a rifle that close is doesn't do anything for me. It's way too close. If you could take the scope off quick, it wouldn't be bad. But with the scope on, I prefer not to. God, I hated that that map. That Mississippi map was ugh. actually my least favorite map in. Call the wild, not gonna lie. Why does it keep going to there? Okay, I don't imagine there's gonna be anything at the lake because nothing's drinking, but you never know. I thought there might be wolves hanging around up here. Because they gotta go somewhere, they drink up here. They have to go somewhere. Oh, I hear you. But like I say, man, if you can get 160, 200 out with the rifles in the game, that's plenty close enough to take out any of the animals, really. It is nice to get up close to them so you can kind of see what they look like because that is an important aspect of it. I just heard red deer. <laughs> I just heard a red deer. I have no idea. I don't see. Wait, I'm hearing him again. Where the hell? Okay, I have the hunter sense on. I hear the red deer, but I don't see the uh, the visualization. Damn. <laughs> okay, let's maybe go up over this way. Let's take a look here. Okay, we have two feed zones for them. I said, man, I, I heard him. I heard a stag calling, but I did not see any visualization for it anywhere. Yeah, but it usually stays on the screen long enough that you could take a look at it. I heard it twice and literally 
didn't see anything. Wait, was that a badger? No, red deer eating almost never. So that's uh, that's good to know. I don't think. Yeah, it's not. It's not their time to eat anyway. Okay, that's from a red deer that looks fresh. So let's see here. Let's see what what the terrain looks like here. Trees all over there. <laughs> Alright, so it doesn't look like there's any. Oh, wait a minute. Are those? Yeah, yeah, okay. We have red deer up ahead. I can barely see them with the game paused. There we go. There we go. That's what we need to see. Now. Now is when I want to get up. Into the trees actually. like to get some height on these to take a look at them it would be nice if they were coming back this way although the wind kind of sucks for that but oh, 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 oh. wait 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 oh gosh we have red deer out there Right there. Crap. Okay. <laughs> so they're right in front of us. I didn't think they were that close, actually. I did not think they were that close. But gosh, they are. Um, no? I see the stag. He's not too impressive. Uh, I kind of thought they were like right here. Yeah, he's not impressive at all. He may not even be mature. Ah! Uh, I don't know. I don't think the elk are that bad either. I mean, if you just take your time, stop and go, they're not too bad. They're definitely a lot spookier than, say, the, uh, the mule deer or the whitetail. Okay, so you know what? We have... Let's see here. <laughs> let's try to call him in. We could use him to level up anyway. <laughs> I keep seeing that bush or that tree kind of waving over there. I'm thinking he's going to come up over, but... 
Yeah, it's just that tree. <laughs> He's calling back. That's awesome. I love that. That is awesome. Come on, buddy. Just, just step up over that ridge. Just get out of that dip. There he is. There he is. I see him. I see him. I see him. <laughs> Oh, man. What are you? Oh, he's a one-star mature. Okay, yeah, he's horrible. Oh. Great. God, that is... What a horrible-looking red deer. That's a mature? He has horrible genes on him. Sounds like you got your chewing beers. <laughs> You and me both, man. Ah! I tried to get a hard shot. I definitely don't think we got a hard shot. <laughs> hmm. That may not have been a good shot at all. Oh, well. I don't mind messing up like that on a uh, a really sad specimen like him, because <laughs> God, he has he must have some just horrible genes. Okay, why you just shut up? You ain't still calling? No, maybe he is. Yeah, that's. Damn it. Ah well, like I said, he was a uh, he was a horrible specimen, so if we're gonna screw one up, we picked a good one to screw up. Oh. Wait, what is this over here? No no, that's not it's not heart blood, it's not a heart shot. Like I said, I tried to go for a hard shot, but I think I hit too low. This looks like a bear. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, when they put the bears in, at least we'll have some heat zones for them, right? What is this here? Red fox eating off and interesting. Like I say, though, we may be able to catch up with him. Say, I definitely don't think he's going to die. <laughs> um, where's the blood? Where? Oh, there we go. I sees it. Was it a mature mule deer with 13%? Good lord, that is awful. You had to put him out of his misery. <laughs> Good lord. See, this is what I'm talking about, like, with the blood trails. When they, uh, when they go into the need zones, it's, it's difficult. So what I would like to see... It's like a separate kind of tracking mode when you're tracking blood. Where it kind of shuts off. Because now, I mean, I can see the blood. It's not the easiest thing to see. But it'd be nice if they kind of just shut the glowing off of the need zones while you're tracking blood. It would make it a little bit easier. Not that I feel that the tracking is difficult, but with the need zones... It makes it tricky. Uh, <laughs> okay, kind of got a branch just dangling in the wind there, I guess. Stuff like that I, j I laugh about. Stuff like that doesn't bother me. 
I remember we call the wild people got so uptight over some floating vegetation rocks and it's like good lord that's not that big of a deal there's other things okay great we'll see we're getting all these freaking need zones trying to track this deer Yeah, I don't. I don't want to see it a different color because then I kind of feel like it's getting into the uh, the call of the wild territory with that. But uh, I think if you could go to like a, a separate tracking mode for blood, that it would just turn off the glowing of the uh, the need zones. I think that'd be perfect. You know what? I'm. I'm gonna see if I can just spot the herd. Definitely not. Definitely not. Like I said, I I don't think he died. There's no way in hell I hit him good enough where he died. And now I lost the trail anyway. That's all right. I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'll find him someday and I'll, I'll kill him and I'll see a second shot and I won't even remember <laughs> hitting him. Because it's already happened in this game. I've already done it. So let's see here. We've been going almost two hours. I'm almost tempted to reset the time and go back and check on our red deer. I think I might do that. We'll check on him. And then, uh, if you guys are up for it, maybe we'll head on over to the Nez Perce Valley and, and take a look around at some of our herds over there and see what we got going on. Uh, what do we have over here? More bear. Go to the valley. <laughs> we could do that. Let me uh, let me reset time once here though, and go back up into here and take a look at that guy. We'll change time over at this one because I do want to check on that red deer. There we go. So we'll check on him, and then we'll uh, head on over back to America. There we go. Because I am curious just to see how the, uh, the aging works. I haven't really tested it too much on my own yet. I don't feel like, I don't know. I don't feel like he's going to turn into a five star. But wouldn't it be interesting if we went there and he was gone? I mean, obviously, I would love to harvest him. But uh, it would still be interesting. I, I feel that if, uh, if he wasn't there, then we, we kind of knew that he passed away. It's funny because I see people talking about how they're already bored with this game because it doesn't have rares like Call of the Wild and it doesn't have the uh, like great ones or anything like that. But it's like, I really feel that those are people that are just really Call of the Wild fanboys. 
complaining about it because just the fact that the animals in this die and you can have th the new spawns coming in constantly that alone adds to the, re the replayability of the game more so than Call of the Wild where it's just literally the same animals constantly ah there we go see that guys Two-star mature. I feel like that's the one that I hit the other day when I was doing a video. So let's see here. How far are these guys away? Are they within calling distance? I don't know. What do we got there? That's a female. 210, I kind of feel like that's too far. And uh, I'm almost, yeah, okay. So the problem is, which one did I hit? Because <laughs> there's a couple two-star matures in this herd. Well, I feel like there's probably got to be a time between... The death of a mature and the respawn of a new one. What do we have down here? One star mature. Two star mature. God, this is a really horrible herd. Like, literally, every single one of these could be taken out. You know what? Let's just go for him. Let's see. That was a good hit. Yeah, like literally every single mature in that herd <laughs> could be taken out. Really horrible. Horrible genetics in that whole herd, man. So what I'm curious about is that if you have, like, a four-star mature in the herd, he's he's got good genetics. But, like, how exactly does that affect the rest of the herd? Because if you have him in there, but if you have some lower genetics mature males, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously in real life. Um, oh, God, I'm standing on it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Because <laughs> in real life, the, uh, the higher genetics males, they would be the ones that would be more likely to mate. So it's just, uh, I'm just curious how they actually went about that in the game. Now that was Lung, so he should have went down pretty quick. This is a 308, I'm not using the 300. I could have grabbed it, but the, uh, the 308 does a pretty decent job. You might have to track them a little longer, but... Or a lot longer. <laughs> oh, there it is. I've seen that before it started to lighten up, but no. Okay, where is that next blood spot? It's on a rock here. Take a look at it. It should be right out. Th oh, there it is right there. Good Lord. 
You know, it's so weird because it was right there. But for some reason, I just didn't see it. I like it when it's like this when you can see... Oh, okay, there he is. That's perfect. And it looks like we're close to the lake. All right, let's pick him up. 76.87 on the genetics. Okay. You, my friend, had to go. No, that's not the lake. The lake is down here. Now, I know I have to be careful because sometimes they're on this side of the lake. The last time we seen them, when I first started the stream, they were on the far side of the lake, so... Mm, what is that? Is that... Okay, it doesn't look like... Wait, is that the lake? Or is that... No. Lake's further this way. The hell am I thinking? <laughs> All right. I kind of like this. We'll stay up on this, uh, this hillside a little bit here. Maybe we could get a decent view down. Hopefully they won't be on this side. Hopefully they'll be where they were when we first spotted them. Ooh, what is that there? Oh, crap. There are red deer over on this side. Hmm. I wonder if that's our herd with that four-star mature, though. Okay, we have more red deer there. <laughs> Two-star mature. I feel like that herd that had the four star in it was a little bigger. It's moving real slow, doing our stop and go thing here. Two star mature. Buddy, you just stay calm. Hmm. I'm going to have to think that this is our herd. Nice, man. <laughs> okay, I can't get a spot on them. One star. Oh, how cool is that, guys? They're just laying there. Getting some sun. Just enjoying life. They have no idea that I'm up in the trees. <laughs> But also, I don't see that four star. Oh, oh, good lord, there are two star, one star. Ah, there are deer all over here, though. Look at this.
So the question is, did he die? Or is this not that hurt? I kind of feel like, I feel like this is definitely the herd that he was in. So maybe, oh, 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 oh. No, there he is right there, guys. There he is right there. He's still a four star. I don't think he's going to become a five star. I do feel like this is a pretty good herd of red deer. Okay. No, I didn't want to. Let's uh let's take him out. Oh no. I don't like that, but Okay, I think that was a good hit. Cannot see through the trees. But uh, yeah, that was a good hit. Like I say, this is like the third day I've seen him now. So yeah, I don't think he was going to get any bigger. And I mean, we got to kill something, right? This is this is a hunting game for, for crying out loud. man I just like that I like that about the game that you could just watch the animals and see what they do you know you can literally see these animals grow if you really want to put the time in pink medium amount of blood okay so the question is did you run up yep that's piss. <laughs> okay, that's not blood. Yeah, yeah. Because like I said, I seen him originally when I was making a video the other day. Blood? No, that's... God damn it. Where did he go? Where's... Why can I not find... Oh, there we go. Had a hard time finding that blood on this one. Um... Okay, come on. All right, come on, light up. <laughs> Thank you. Jeez, this thing. Didn't want to run in a straight line to begin with, did he? He's running a straight line now. Jesus, there's a hunting tower right there. That's the question mark that I, I didn't get. It would have been nice to take him out in there. Hey! There, ooh, there he is. That's That was a strange little glitch. Ah, look at him. Huh? He looks nice. He looks nice. He looks shocked. Let's pick him up. Left lung and artery. Alright, it was a good hit. Good hit. Yeah, he was only 81.4%, 81, 81 so definitely definitely made the right choice. All right. Let's sell him. Let's pick this up quick, and then let's head to the Nez Perce Valley, guys.
you know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's really easy. And other times I've, I've noticed like if it's not like right on the grass, if it's on plants like this, it can be really difficult to find the next, the next blood spot. All right, let's switch over now. Oh, he was past his peak. <laughs> he was uh, he was definitely done for. No question about it. Have you enjoyed the show? I don't want to talk to you right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Did the discovery shock you? Your mother being an obsessive poacher is too much for you? Noah, please. Beg all you want. <laughs> you want to raise Good this. Lord, shut up, Noah. Do you know why they don't talk about her? Your father hated her guts, and the old man in the hospital is ashamed. This, that's the mission we did last time. Every time I started up here, it starts back with that. Ooh, we have, uh, we have mountain goats. One star young. Two star mature. All right. We don't really have anything good here. All right. What time is it on this map? It's 11.15 a.m. Oh, uh, let's see here. I kind of want to go up into here. So let's, uh... Yeah, let's go up into that lake. Just trying to think here. What's the best way to get up there? Okay, there's a there's a path literally right outside this cabin that we could take. So let's uh let's do that, I guess. Take a quick look out over here. Absolutely one of my favorite spots in the game. Just such a beautiful lake, man. Such a beautiful spot. Would not have any problem living at a place like this at all in real life. Can't wait for that to be patched. Yeah. Yep. Like I said, they're uh, they're doing good with it. I feel. The fact that they're patching things regularly, <laughs> that's a huge plus in my book. So... Okay. I almost said we could take the car, but you know what? Screw that, because we might run into some elk or something. Do I need to take this bridge? Yeah. Yeah, we might run into some elk or some bighorn as we go through here, so we won't take the car. Yeah, the fact that they don't make us wait for the patches, they don't make us wait until the next DLC update, that's just a huge plus for me. You know what, let me clear these, uh, these markers, because that really bugs me. Uh, okay, let's just do that. Yeah. And they're gone. Yeah, I don't know why, but just seeing those markers on the map, if I'm not tracking something with them, I just hate seeing them on the map for some reason. This is probably one of my favorite regions to hunt on the map anyway. Wolves, too. I get a lot of wolves in here. Is that? That is where we want to go. 
All right, going up into territory I've never been before. That's always fun. You need what gone? The wolves? I like the wolves, man. I think it'd be pretty cool if they actually hunted in the game. That's something people would uh would really flip out over. That goes along. But, but you know the thing is, in this game, animals can already die anyway. So why not? Why not have wolves, a pack of wolves hunting a big four-star elk? Just imagine what that would look like, man. Glassing over and seeing that, I'd be okay with it. You'll always get another four or five star animal on your map anyway. That's not a big deal. It's like when they, uh... What am I? One more color marker for marking four star. Hey, I'm not sure what you mean by that, man. Oh, yeah. Just, uh... Just shoot an animal that you want to track with the 22. <laughs> and then if the animal in the herd gets bigger and you take him down and it was shot with a 22, then you know that was... That was the one. I've seen some people say that they, uh... They would like to see them do something where you could... Maybe, like, mark an animal and, and put a name on the animal... That might be that might be cool, but then again, it might make it too easy. I know what I would like. I would love it if you could rotate the map. That would be something I would love to see in this game, that you could just rotate that map around so you could look better. But that's, uh, that's something really minor, I'm sure. Down the line, that's something they might think about doing if enough people want it. Like I say, I don't really like complaining about small things in games, especially when they're this new. Because, I mean, there's a ton of stuff that they can add to the game. And that stuff feels like uh, not little things that they can do later on. Hey, there you go, man. That's... That's not a bad idea. I kind of remember where some of the uh, the bigger animals I I've seen were. But like I said, for making content and stuff, I haven't been really focusing on on watching the animals grow and seeing how that works. Yeah, I know, me too. I'm, I'm always trying to rotate the damn map, and it's like, oh, that's right, I can't. Like I say, such a, uh, such a little insignificant thing if you think about it, but it really would make all the difference. Alright, so there's a question mark right on this road. Um, you know, you can't help but to think, like, who, who the hell put this road here? <laughs> so in the roadmap, they did mention adding more vehicles. So what do you guys think? What other vehicles would you want in the game? I mean, I could definitely see, like, an ATV or something. Maybe a side-by-side. -side. I couldn't see anything crazy like a, a dirt bike or anything like that. And again, I think one of the more popular ones is people wanting like uh, horses or something like that in a hunting game.
Are they all in the same areas or are they different parts of the map? I still haven't really hit the Diamond Jewel area that hard. I love the mountains. Nope, this is just a place of interest, I believe. Oh, look at this. We got a little, a little rest zone. <laughs> well, the thing is, I don't really think a vehicle, uh, a horse, is a vehicle. <laughs> you know, like, uh, Inside. I get where people are coming from, but I wouldn't consider a horse a vehicle. So, yeah, I definitely think ATVs are probably more more likely. I think before they add any, they need to fix the Jeeps. Because they are incredibly underpowered. Like, incredibly. That Jeep, I could probably walk up this hill faster than that Jeep could go. That all of a sudden, it just dies on a grade. I have no idea why they did that. Maybe the developers have never driven in a motor vehicle before, but yeah, it's really strange. It's too bad, too, because other than that, I think uh, I think the Jeeps are a pretty cool addition. I like the fact that you can access your guns and stuff. That lake is way... Oh, there's a couple lakes up here. Okay, nice. So this uh, this mountain is kind of like a bowl at the top. Again, I'm not going to be showing up at these lakes at drink times, but oh well. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's yeah, let's do that. Let's let's like literally hunt for a change. Let's reset the time and let's take a look around. First of all, I have to check over here to see if there's any deer. I always have to check this spot, and there are... <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, going up any of the grades. It's just ridiculous. All right, let's head down here. Let's take a look at these mule deer. Are there? Is that? Now, I thought I saw one out over there. From a, from a distance, that one looks pretty decent. I mean, I can see his antlers from here, but... We have here some badgers. No, we got some fox. Adult female. One star mature male. <laughs> Love that how it looks like he was just sniffing the ground. Yeah, but again, if I can if I can walk up them faster than a jeep can drive up them, that's uh, that's not too fun, is it? Yeah, just keep moving away from me. That one there, man. He that's probably going to be a three star, but uh, <laughs> looks pretty decent. 
What, the fox? I don't have any interest in that fox. He'll end up dying soon. He's already mature. I think I actually seen him when he was a, a small one, actually. Because there used to be a young one running around here. So, yeah, I don't... I'm not too concerned about him. Romanian haystacks. Hey, Paul. <laughs> what are the sticks in them, then, if... That's what I'm curious about, what those sticks are. That mule deer, man, he looks decent to me. He looks decent. Of course, the wind is freaking horrible. Like I said, though, I'm not so sure how much the wind factors in. I mean, the fact that they did give a scent eliminator makes me kind of wonder if it is that big of a factor. But yeah, I really want to get him spotted. I'd love to see. Although even the smaller mule deer, they tend to uh, look impressive. How are you just laying down, huh? Yeah, he's just a three-star. God damn. They look so good, though. One-star young. I thought there was a couple more bucks over there, if I'm being honest. Oh, yeah. They're, uh... They're laying down. One star adult. One star adult. So he's definitely the biggest one. And you know what? I think we're going to leave him. I don't think we're going to take him. I mean... I don't know. See, again, this is where a spotting scope would be so helpful because I could get a better look at him to see. I mean, he might be older. It's really hard to tell from this distance. Yeah, like I say, I'm not too sure how it works. Like I said, the fact that they didn't give us scent eliminator, it kind of makes me feel that maybe it's not that big of a deal. I still think noise is the biggest factor. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, that's, I definitely feel that. A little strange to me <laughs> like literally they, they have a, a four-tier gun and it's just for road deer I mean you could probably take a five-tier animal out with it where did that big one go I don't know guys what do you think you think I should see if that three star will grow or do you think we should we should try to take him. Absolutely. Absolutely. The spotting scope is a must. And especially with the fact that you have to actually look at the animals to see how old they are because they look different. It's definitely a must. One star adult. So now the problem is, that three star, he went over that little dip. Oh, he's right there. God, I think he looks old, man.
Ooh, that was way too high. That was my bad. That was... I, uh... I had my hand on the trigger, and I freaking... I hit it. I accidentally hit the goddamn button. Itchy trigger figure, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, man. Well... That's unfortunate. That... Well, howdy. There's sure a lot of you out here, aren't there? Yeah, I, I flinched all right. I freaking... I pulled that trigger hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's no way he died because that wasn't that wasn't a spine shot. That was too high to be a spine shot. That was just flesh. All right. Ah, oh, well. These things happen. Let's uh, let's go back to the lodge. Let's reset time because I want to go down through here. And I want to check out some of the uh, the feed zones that we have down there. Anyway. <laughs> oh man. You know, I've actually shot putting down my controller because on the PS5, these damn triggers are so sensitive. So let's go 734. I think that sounds good. And let's uh, switch some things around here. So we already have... No, no. No, storage. We don't need that, that, or that. Let's bring the deer grunt. Yeah, let's just bring that for now. And we don't need the 22. I don't want to bring that. Um, let's see here. You know what? Let's... Let's rock this one again. And then for this one, maybe we'll take. Hmm. I'm not sure which one I want here. Where's. Okay, well. I guess we could do that. We'll take the 308. I've done that, man. I've done that. For some reason, I think that I would prefer to have the uh, the markers on the triangle and the tr and the uh, the R the R1 your sense. I don't know why. I just think it'd be better that way. You know, there's a lot of games that just aren't utilizing the haptic feedback, uh, and it's it's sad, but I don't know if it's sad. They just don't know how to do it or what, but uh, yeah. I feel like it's a, uh, it's a huge missed opportunity, if I'm being honest. And I mean, there's even games out there that they claim they utilize the haptic feedback and they just don't. They really don't. It's kind of sad that you have this technology with these adapt adapt ah, adaptive triggers and the haptic feedback and none of the games are utilizing it yet. In a game like this, it would be so awesome. Imagine when they put bows in the game. <laughs> You can feel the resistance pulling pulling the drawstring back. Oh man, that would be great. Of course, they utilize that in like Horizon Forbidden West, but that's a Sony game, so.
But I know SnowRunner, the PS5 version of SnowRunner, they said that they were going to utilize it, and they didn't. It's not in the game. Okay, so I need to see here. I feel like it's not far. It's not a drinking zone. Like, they're usually, like, right on the road. And there's another feed zone, like, up in that area where the trees all cut. That I want to check out as well. Badgers, not interested in badgers. Okay, I'm going to start crouching because I got a feeling they're not that far away. That'd be pretty cool. That would definitely be pretty cool, man. I like that idea. You know, that would be cool, too, if they did that when you uh, you brought the gun up and then when you held your breath, your, like, heartbeat would slow down or something. That would be, uh, that would be very cool. Yeah, with bows, man, that would be just so cool feeling that resistance when you pull back. You know, another thing that's interesting, too, is that this is on Unreal Engine 4. So that means they could technically upgrade this to Unreal Engine 5. I, I've heard that it's not that difficult. So imagine if they did that. That would be a fantastic optimization for this game. Rusting rarely. Okay, maybe this is where... I see them. You can see your heartbeat in the crosshairs. Uh, no? No, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see that at all. It would definitely be cool if they put that in the controller, though. There we go. Okay. So they are still up over there. So this is my favorite part about this game. Now I hear them. So now I need to figure out what the best way... No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna run right now, man. I wanna check out these deer first. I will check that out, though. Let's see here. Come. Okay, I, I kind of think there's a three star. Oh, shoot. Ha. Hey, they're, they're like right there. Don't get up on my account. You're fine. Okay, they got to be right behind these bushes. They were bedded down. You know, where the hell... Okay, you know what? Let me try to get rid of these bushes. I'm going to try to call one of these does out and take one of those because we really need to level up these collars. Hey, where you... <laughs> I hate that because it says calm. But he was looking right at me. I mean, he was just looking right at me like he was not calm. He knew I was there. There's a three star. I just need to get over to these bushes and I'm 
I'm gonna call. I mean, I don't have to. You don't have to be hidden as long as you're still. I think you're all right. But I don't know. Just for the sake of immersion, I wanna, I wanna get kind of hidden here. Oh, come on. Did they leave? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Come on. Yeah, I mean, that's always the risk uh, of taking a really long shot like that. Without a spotting scope, you have no idea what you're, what you're shooting. But uh, it is satisfying taking that long shot. Are you going to come in or am I too far out? Yeah, I mean, I would just prefer to get in a bush to kind of hide. Okay, there she is. She's coming in. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't a heart shot. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Now, if they uh, they give me the credit for her coming in, that'll be a different story because sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. That's what I've noticed about this. It's, it's very strange. It's like, I don't know, man. It's like if they turn around, then that's it. It, it cuts off. Cuts that off. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> we tried the hard shot. That red deer, and that didn't work, so. We didn't get a hard shot. That was the artery, really. And the right lung is what killed her. So, see, guys, you can see right there that says right lung. It's got the skull on it. So, that means that's what dropped her. That's crazy, though. I mean, that artery definitely helped. Definitely helped. Let's sell her off. Yes! Awesome, guys. We got it now. So let me just take a look at this. Okay. So. Do I have to change the caller? No, no, no. Wait a minute. No, that's... Wait. <laughs> There's a button. God damn it. Wait a minute. How the hell do you change that? Uh, next firearm. Next caller. Change stance, place remove marker, fire, look. Uh, toggle marker. Um, open in game, that's on foot. Equipment. Secondary action, reload, gear, use special action. Up and down arrow before you call. Nope, that's, that's not working. No, 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 I didn't want, they said, ah, god damn it. Hmm. Okay.
Okay, how the hell? How the hell do you change that? Because absolutely nothing's working. Dear Grunt Call. Now that just does that. God damn it, why does that keep doing that? Yeah, I can't. I can't change it. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? There's three levels because this only has two levels. Do I have to get to the, the last level to use that? Okay. Up. Down. It is not changing. It says Dogrun. It is not changing this at all. So, <laughs> I'm literally hitting down right now. I'm holding it. Nothing. Holding up. Pressing up. No. It's, nothing's working. It's not doing it. So, hmm. Let's just, uh. Okay, there, there we go. It didn't show up. I literally had to fast travel away for it to show up. And now I can have the second one. That is weird. Okay, that's something that I hope gets fixed. Because uh, that's that's kind of messed up. Alright. Let's go up to this campsite. If I would have known that, I would have just fast traveled here. But yeah. Alright, well... Good to know. I guess I'll have to do a video on that. Because <laughs> that's mildly annoying, but at least we worked it out. Yeah, it'll work. Yeah, I got it now. It's still not great because it, it still only uh, does the low-level males. So now I got to sell like 30 called animals. That's going to be a pain in the butt. It would be nice if they took that 10 off it. <laughs> so I only had to uh, call in 20. But oh well. We'll call in low-level books all day and, and take them out. Not a problem. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying my pain, dude. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Are we going the right way? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, okay, the, uh, the Eurasia Badgers are in the mountain forest. Okay, man, I'll have to check that. Like I said, I have not seen one yet. I've seen their... I've seen their need zones. I've seen tracks, but I have not seen one yet. As I said, I'm not... crazy interested in hunting them, but I wouldn't mind seeing them at least. I ever come across a five-star, I'll probably grab it and get... Get them for the cool uh, multi-mounts, but other than that, I'll probably never hunt them again. Yeah, it's like the, uh, the red deer. It's 
see, it works good on the uh, the hares. I haven't had a lot of luck with the ducks with calling them in. But calling in low-level bucks, that's uh, that's a good thing. We'll definitely use it more now. If there were already bows in the game, these colors would already be leveled up. <laughs> I guarantee that, because I'd be calling in animals to hunt with the bow all the time. Badgers are groups of six or more. Nice. Yeah, what is it? It's, uh, I think, elk, moose. Oh. You, uh... You look like a pretty, pretty good-looking buck right there. All right. Yeah, the hogs are really easy to call in as well. You're right. If you uh, if you see my video the other day, uh, you'll see that. I called him in right up, that's like six or nine yards from me he was away. <laughs> yeah, I had to make that video just because so many people have been saying that, uh, the game's too hard, and I, I can't get close to animals, and it's like, no, you absolutely can get close to animals in this game. He's another three-star. Wouldn't it be crazy if that was the same three-star that I shot? Let's, uh... Let's maybe get a little closer to these guys, see where they're going. They should be feeding. Like they are. Like, that is so awesome because he just, he looks bigger. Like, he literally looks bigger than, than the other ones. Maybe it's because he's closer. Not. Not you. Well, that two-star doesn't look bad either. There's the three-star right there. But yeah, like, you, you can definitely get closer to the animals in this game. You just have to go about it differently. You know, it's just that, like, Call of the Wild where you can run up on them. Yeah, yeah, it has to be a different herd because they were, they were way up here. Okay, that sound analysis came up and it immediately disappeared. That could have been pheasant, but it could be these mule deer as well. Always got to get to the top of a damn hill. Okay, I just seen a mule deer running off ahead of us there. God damn it, I just seen it again. Huh, I just heard a grunt. Okay, we're gonna We're gonna cheat a little. Now there they are. They're right at the edge of the water. So let's let's go slow. We may not call these in actually. I think where they are, they're they're a decent di decent distance away where we don't have to.
Yeah, I've uh, I've never had that before. I don't know what the hell's going on. I said this is the first time I've really had that. So they should be. Once I get the other side of this tree, I should be able to see them. Yeah, I keep getting that. Oh, God. <laughs> see, it looks like she's sniffing the air. So, ooh. Hello. You're a one star? You're a one star mature? Where y'all going? I don't think so. I don't think the uh, the next map is going to be out for a while. Uh. No, I didn't want to do that. God damn it. <laughs> okay, we'll just attract everybody, I guess. Why not? Okay, so note to self, it doesn't... No, it does. But yeah, because they only have two maps, so I think it's going to be spread out. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the next map in maybe, I don't know, four to five months. I could be wrong. I think if they want to try to at least be competitive with Call of the Wild, they should try to get out DLC before Call of the Wild's next DLC. That's, uh, that's what I think about it. Okay, who's coming in? We got a female coming in because my dumbass didn't look at it. I called her in first. So let me guess, the uh, the males aren't going to come in now. Where the hell are the males even going? The males are leaving. And I don't... I don't want her... Well, we missed that time. Yeah, the, uh... The deer grunt... The deer grunt lasts a lot longer. Probably just took him. <laughs> That's okay. We wanted to try to, to call her anyway. Because they definitely aren't coming in now. What? Oh, why are you coming in right behind me, dude? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I know that. So, I do remember them saying something about predators will come in. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, so where did y'all go? Because the males... They don't want to come in, which is fine. <clears throat> as soon as I can get eyes on them, we'll take them out. Oh, there they are right there. One star mature. Well, what a dick. <laughs> He's just going to stop right behind the tree. Hmm. Ah. Damn him. No, I didn't want 
want to do that? Whoa. Did that look too far forward? And, uh, that's my dog going crazy. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Okay, my other two dogs came running out, and he was sleeping, and he, uh, he didn't appreciate getting woke up in that manner, I guess. Uh, he's an older guy. He's seven years old. Just turned seven this year, actually. The other two, they're, uh, they're a couple years younger than him, and he's uh, he gets a little grumpy. <laughs> Yeah, they said that sometimes predators will come in because, you know, obviously predators that, that feed on like deer or whatever, although I don't think fox counts, but he sure as hell came right in, didn't he? Let's see. All right. That's red. Yeah, we shot him too far forward. Let's just rename this. Stream the stream of bad shots. Holy hell. I'm definitely having an off night. <laughs> oh, that happens. I used to have that happen to me with Call of the Wild. I'd, I'd, sometimes I'd play that game and like every shot I would take was just a bad shot. And I'd be like, you know what? I, I, I'm done. <laughs> So we're definitely having one of those nights here. The funny thing is, the way he the way he jumped, I thought maybe that was a decent shot, but I'm starting to think it probably wasn't. And we're just gonna keep spooking him more, aren't we? Yeah, and at least I'm making bad shots on low genetics animals. Whoa, what? Um, hmm. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> this is a little strange. Yeah, he definitely didn't die. He's with his herd. Oh, crap. You know what? This is where I wanted to hunt. <laughs> this is where I wanted to hunt to begin with. I wanted to see. Yeah, this field with all the cut down trees. Hey, he did, didn't he? That's, I don't, I've never seen that before. That was interesting. It does look like he kind of just uh, stayed around that spot for a little bit, didn't it? All right, well, I guess we might as well keep tracking him here. Like I said, he definitely didn't die, but we might as well at least get out to the open. Maybe we can see the herd. And being just a one star, I'm not too broken up about it. Wait. Is that? 
No, that's not him, is it? Does that look like a deer? <laughs> or is that just a rock? Ah, I think it'd be glowing, right? You see it glowing in the uh, binoculars, I think? Or do we have to be closer? I don't know. No, that's that's definitely not a deer. Yeah, because the blood trail will be going down this way, and it's it's definitely not. Hmm. Nah. How cool would that have been, though, huh? <laughs> uh, oh well. Oh, Jesus, we're... Okay, we're way down here already? No way. All right. So what time is it? 9.38, all right. We should all be drinking. though I like that you know it's it's uh it's nice to see the game like this it's something that's uh unexpected okay I think I know where they are Right ahead of us, sir. Oh, God. <laughs> there, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, Jesus. They're right in front of that. That hunting tower. That's, uh, that's not going to help me now. Should probably crouch down anyway. Gosh, if I could get to that hunting stand, that would be fantastic, but they're like right in front of it. There's no way in hell. There's no way. <laughs> and uh, I don't think... I don't know where else I could go to try to see him here. Well, I absolutely love that they uh, they put that in the game, you know. It just adds so much. Gosh. We're going to spook these. <laughs> oh, that ladder's so close yet so far away. Okay, you're calm now. You ain't gonna be. Let's do a little stop and go. The wind is blowing right towards them, so that's not ideal. Oh, I bet. Are you still calm, dude? Really? God. They, you know, they go from calm to alert. So quick. <laughs> Did 
that ladder needs to be so much closer to me right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, Jesus. Hello. What in the world is going on? Wait, are those... Those are mule deer as well. Oh, gosh. There's going to be all kinds of mule deer. Now, the question is... Is it going to make sound <laughs> when I climb up that ladder? Oh, man. This is nerve-wracking, guys. i got to say. I'm not even getting any meat out of this for real, but... Good Lord, I am nervous. <laughs> Mostly because I want to see what's over there. I want to see... If there's any really good ones. Oh, gosh. We are so close. <laughs> so close to this ladder. Literally the need zone. Oh, thank God. That's American Badger. Okay. Little by little. I'm going to climb up this ladder and everything's going to freak out on me, right? Gosh. Quietly. Wait, where are they? <laughs> where are they? Oh, they're walking away. Just a three star, god damn it. These three stars are killing me, man. Wait, wait, wait. That's a three star? Jesus Christ, that's a good looking animal, man. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh. Come on, baby. Come on back. Where did those other ones go? Are they all headed down there? Ha, ah, he's coming right in. Yeah, because he's a one-star mature, so that's perfect. Now, if you, sir, could go broadside... That wasn't a hard shot. Oh, wait, maybe it was. He, uh, he's not running too quick, is he? Ooh. He went right down on his head. Seriously, the three-star mule deers look so good. They really do. You dead? You dead, boy? Yeah, he dead. All right. Let's see here. Can I jump off this one? Nope. Some you can, some you can. I don't know why. All right. So, there's our first animal called in. That's our first one towards the, the third level. I'm liking the third level, so... 29 more to go. Yeah, even though I know it happens, it's still quite shocking in the game when you uh, run up on a dead animal and he jumps up. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Ah. Okay. 
The other ones were just down a ways. Nice. Wow. Wait a minute. Shot one. Shot two. He was the one that we shot far forward, guys. This is the one that we that we shot that we were tracking. <laughs> this is him. How do you like that? Yeah, yeah. So let's see here. He was... Yeah, he was our one-star mature. No way. That is freaking awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, hey, nice that we did that. So we need to get two more under 40%. All right, guys. Well, you know what? I think that's where we're going to end this, this stream tonight. I'm getting a little bit tired. I'm getting a little bit hungry. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I had a lot of fun, as usual. Um, next Friday, it'll definitely be Friday again. Maybe we'll do a Friday and a Saturday. Um, also, I'd like to get back to doing some of the other content that I do with my live streams as well. But uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do a poll. I'm not sure if I want to put those games on this channel or maybe start up a second channel for like SnowRunner, Farming Simulator, and games like that. Maybe I'll do a poll and see what everybody thinks. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming out. I had a lot of fun. Can't wait to do it again next weekend. Hope you all have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time.